In a first wave response to raise awareness of overfishing, marine litter and carbon emissions, the sea has threatened strike action. So, Kirk, what's your response to this? What has the sea ever done for us? Well, it's fierce big. We could use it to build roads. Uh, shopping centres. Car parks. Team parks. Chip shops. Swimming pools. Very good. Mm-hmm. News just in. The sea is gone. The European Space Agency has just confirmed that it was last seen headed for the moon. What effect will this have? None whatsoever, Anne. The sea never contributed anything. Except maybe food. You know, like fish and stuff. And it did transport a lot of goods. And don't forget tourism and leisure. Okay, so food, trade and transport and leisure are all important. But besides that, what did the sea ever do for us? Didn't it act as a carbon sink? A carbon what? Well, just technically. The sea absorbs carbon from the atmosphere and stores it. So in a way, it prevents climate change and regulates the Earth's temperature. OK, so we might miss it a little. Scientists report that the sea is responsible for... What the... Over half the world's oxygen! I can't... breathe! This is a disaster! I've never heard of anything worse in my life! What are we going to do? Breaking news, people everywhere are taking action to bring back the sea. Well, thank God for that. That's the way to do it. We need the sea to come back. Breaking news, the sea has returned. I repeat, the sea has returned to the earth. Oh, thank God! Yeah. Brilliant! Oh.